Now when it comes to laser technology, I'm talking rusting off, welding, cutting. From am.co.za, this is the latest machine that we have, the Laser Master. What is it and what does it do? Now you remember the rust off that we had from 50 watts all the way up to 1005. Basically what this did was to take off the rust and any coating that you had. And then of course we developed the AccuWeld, which we were working on just to weld and to cut. Now, this thing of beauty here is a combination of all the three. What it does on the same machine is you're able to weld, you're able to cut, and you're able to do the rust off. So, let me show you all about it, how it works, what it does, and how it does what it does. Okay, from the right, we have an air pump. Basically, this is what just sends air that we're gonna use in the cutting and the rusting off. The red unit you see right here is the wire feeder. We're gonna be using this to feed the wire when we're doing welding. The big guy you see here is finally the power supply for the laser. If I open it right here, you're going to see that I have a 1,500 watt power supply for the laser and I have on the next side of it, a chiller. Basically, all I do with this is pour water and it keeps the temperatures low. For the chiller, you're gonna have the level that we have here. Red being the alum, which is very low water, normal and full. As you pour water, you'll be able to know how much water is in there. To the interface. The first button I have here is the emergency stop. Pressing this on is basically going to turn off everything. After that, I have the system switch. This is the button that basically turns the machine on and off. Laser is basically just going to turn on my power supply for the laser. From here, you see this shielding that we have here is for all the cables that we're going to use to both the torches that we're going to have. And at the back, I have a connection that we have an... I'm oh, sorry. And at the back? And at the back, there's an earth clamp that we're going to use when we're welding. You have a set of glasses that you're going to be using for the welding and all the laser rusting off that you're going to be doing. The smaller torch that you have here is the one for the cleaning. And as you can see, it has no nozzle, but just a lens. The other torch that you have is basically the one for welding and for cutting. As you can see, it's connected to the wire feeder with this wire coming out and the nozzle to bring out the fire. We of course do have the consumables that you're going to use for all the cutting and the welding that you're going to be doing. For the welding, you have all of these accessories and toys to play with. And then for the cleaning, you have your lenses, which are going to be your main consumable as you use the machine. So, with all of that being known, let's get back to the functionality of the machine. Now with your screen on like this, the first thing I'm going to show you is how we do the rusting off. Top right corner has settings and immediately I get in there. I first want to set the configuration of my laser supply. Hardware configuration is going to ask me for the password. And standard 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6. As I get in here, I tell it how much power I want to use. With this unit here, it has a 1,500 watt power supply. I can actually use anything below that or on the 1.5. So 1.5 and 1,000 I can choose. For now, I'm gonna choose the maximum power I can use, 1.5, and that's it. Next thing I'm gonna do on the settings is enter the cleaning mode. Enter cleaning mode as it tells you here. Ask me a question and I say yes. Once I'm in here, it is as the screen tells you. First thing I have is the clean mode. This is the beam which it sends when it is rusting off. I have a flat beam, a circular beam, a star kind of beam and all these other shapes. And I'll be able to see it as I use the torch because there's a red light that's gonna be coming out there to show me which mode I'm using. Right, with this being chosen, I have three types of cleaning strengths that I can use. One is non-destructive cleaning, which is basically, you can use the same power, but then what it does is, it doesn't clean as rough 
as it would if it was on heavy cleaning, which is the other feature. I'll use this for when I'm dealing with my heavy alkyd paints, my powder coatings and all of it to take them off. And then, of course, I have standard clarity, which is the in-between of the other two extremes. All right. After that, I have the power on the cleaning that I'm using. I can have this all the way from 5 up to 100%. Now, understand this. If I said the output I have is a 1,500 watts in the hardware configuration, if I say 100% here, that means I'm going to be using 1.5 kilowatts. But if I reduce this to say 50%, that means I'm going to be using 750 kilowatts. But in the case that the power supply I was now using is 1000 watts, or I had set it to 1000 watts, then what that means is when I say 50% here, it's not going to be 750 as it is now. It's going to be 500 watts. I hope we're together there. Finally, I have the cleaning width. The beam that I'm using can be made to be wider or to be more shallow. The maximum width I have here is 150 millimeters, and I can have it as small as 30 millimeters. Right. These are the main parameters when you're setting the rust off. I will, of course, need to turn on the gas, which I have coming from the, power supply, from the pump, and here, which is the main source for the laser. Once I have all these three lights on, I should be able to start cutting and to rust off. All right, so let me just give you a few pointers about the handout torch for the rust off. To start with, the yellow connection you see here is the laser supply. Even as I now am using welding, it's the same connection that I'm going to take and switch it to the other torch. The two pipes you see here are for water cooling, and so are these are the thinner pipes here. Then finally, the clear pipe you have here is the A that you're going to be using. These two black pipes are for communication and power to the torch. The button that you see here, as I press it, it is the button that is going to be helping me to pulse the laser. As long as I press it, I'll be having laser power coming out. The moment I release it, no power is going to be coming out. On the torch, you see where the red light is coming from. This is where the laser beam comes through as well. The red light you see is not the laser as per se. It is the red light pointer to show me where the laser is going to be focusing on. Inside here, I have what is called a protective lens. It is first here. Right after the protective lens, I also have something here, which is called the vibrating lens. And finally, I have another lens that is coming through here, which is the focus lens for the power supply for the laser. Now, with all of this being known, that is most of the information you need to start your rusting off. Okay, so let's give this rust off a shot. Basically, I'm just going to use a straight line cleaning model, standard clarity with 80% power and a 50 millimeter beam to match the length of the metal piece that I am rusting off. And look at that, clean just like it's from the metal forge. All right, so that's about the rust off. And now let me show you how the welding works. But in order to do that, I'm going to need to switch the torches. And here's the torch for welding. Now, the welding torch has the first thing here, which is the nozzle, which is where the laser beam comes out. It has a wire feeding pipe, which is here, which is where the wire comes out. A combination of these two and the power is what's going to help me to weld. Right. 
Coming down the torch, you find out that I also have a clear connection here, which is for air, it's written wind pipe. From there, there's two thin connections here, which are for water, water in and water out. Finally, I have these are two connections, one for power and one for communication with the wire feeder. And with all of this being said, I'm now going to show you how to connect and change the torches. The first thing I need to do is to switch off my machine. Now here is where it gets a little bit tricky. I'm going to take the torch that is currently connected, which is the one for rusting off. If I follow this covering that is here, I will find somewhere where I have a thick joint. Once you feel it, you're going to open it. And voila, you find that we have a connection here. These are the water and air connections I will switch between this. This is the first connection we'll make. And if I keep going down the torch, I'll find out that I also have another thick connection here. I unpin it and we have the power connections here. Now, of course, like we said, with my machine off, I'll start by changing the power, then the water and air connections. It's pretty straightforward. So what you do here is, you first take this connection for this cable, and you take out this, and you connect these two together. After that, you have the same connection that you're gonna do for this as well. For the air and water connections, right here, just swap the matching connections. One at a time would be good. All right, so now we're done with the rotting off, and I'm gonna show you the welding. First thing I have to do is quit the function that I had, which was for rusting off. Now that I'm here for welding, as you can see here, first thing I have to do is set the parameters that I want to use for welding. You normally want less power for the welding, but of course, you're the welder. You know how you want your powers. So I come to parameter settings, and here I can set everything that I want to do. The advance of the gust that is coming out, I can tell it that, the proportion, the delay, right, and all of these other things that are here, which are explained in detail in the manual. The next thing is, if I say the material, I have stainless steel here, I have carbon steel, I have aluminum, and all the other types that this machine as a laser welder can be able to do. After I choose what I want, of course, this depends also on the type of wire that I'm using for the welding. And I also tell it the thickness that I want. With the machine knowing all of these settings, it will be able to give you the right amount of power that you have to use for these materials if you want to do laser welding. Now with this being set, next thing I do is also this function here, sorry, edit. Here I also set the actual output power that I also want. Do I want 95% of 1,500 watts? Do I want less? Do I want more? Frequency and the duty cycle. It's all here. Next thing, my red light, I'm going to use it to be able to see where the wording is going to happen. And all of these are the three lights, I should have them on. Gus being the gus I'm going to be using, filings and this for the laser supply. Once I have this ready and my laser button is on of course, I'll be able to start my welding. Right, the wire feeder. First connection I'm going to make is from the back of the laser power supply. I have this cable here. Pretty straightforward. It comes right into this connection and I lock it in. Now the wire feeder is able to communicate with the motherboard here. The next thing, I'm going to open the side panel here. Whatever wire I buy, normally it's on a plastic roll, which I'm going to fit onto here. But for demonstration's sake, I'm just going to use this wire here. Now I take the wire and I fit it through here. It's going to move all the way down and into this cable here. That is what is going to be received by the torch. Once the wire comes all the way here, I'm going to lock it. And with that being done, this is going to feed straight to the torch. Now, I'm just going to switch it on, feed the wire, and let's give this thing a shot. Basically, to explain these buttons here, to feed my wire forward, 
I'm going to be using this button here. To fit my wire backwards, I'm going to be using the button on the right. The plus or minus are going to be for increasing and decreasing the speed at which my wire moves. And this button is simply for simulation. This button here is to continually move the wire, whether backwards if I press this and forward if I press this. Right, with all of this being known and done, let's give this thing a shot. When it comes to the purchase options of this machine, you have first of all, the option to purchase it as only a rust off. In this case, we're just gonna sell you the laser power supply and the torch for rusting off. You could also buy it just for the sole purpose of welding and cutting. Here we're gonna give you the laser power supply, the wire feeder, and only the torch for welding and cutting. But then, for a very small price difference, you could also get the whole thing which is the laser master unit, which has the welding, the cutting, and the rusting off. You can contact our sales team, of course. They'll give you all the prices, and you also can come for the demo. We're here for you, just make an appointment. Twenty twenty three marks the tenth anniversary of AM.co.za in the South African market. And through that time, we have experienced considerable growth and expansion with the support of our valued customers. To mark our 10th anniversary, we have bought a warehouse at Sunny Rock in East Rand, and we will commence with renovation and construction in 2023. The facility will comprise a massive 2,000 square meter warehouse, 300 square meters of demonstration space, 150 square meters of sales space and 400 square meters of spare part storage on the top floor. 550 square meters of showroom space on the middle floor. 400 square meters for Machine Dot Africa for machine repairs with its own dedicated entrance. And a 250 square meter tea garden and coffee shop for your convenience. Our group now comprises four businesses. AM.co.za is our main business and supplies the machines, spare parts, and consumables. Machine.Africa does the installations for our clients and handles on-site and factory repairs. Ambitious Academy ensures that our clients achieve the very best levels of productivity by providing training and certification. And our automated AI-driven online store, Buy This, brings all products online and distributes countrywide. We invite you to be part of this exciting journey as we establish our new headquarters. Watch as the process unfolds and be part of the adventure to meet all of your machinery and productivity needs with this magnificent new facility. AM.co.za. Achievement matters.